The engine and front light harnesses in most of our classic update kits are a two-piece design. Both harnesses plug into the firewall in the same location and use the 1969 and newer General Motors bulkhead. With some vehicles, this means the firewall pass-through must be opened slightly with a rotary tool or file to allow for clearance. Classic update kits for vehicles requiring modification of the firewall will include a template for the modifications, but in the case of the 1969 Camaro used in this video, the stock opening is already the correct size and will require no changes to the firewall. We showed the installation of the fuse panel and dash wiring in the first video of this series. The mating connectors for the engine and front light harnesses are built into the rear of the fuse panel and will provide the mounting location for the engine and front light harnesses. These mating connectors are visible under the brake booster in the engine compartment once the dash harness has been installed in the vehicle. Before moving on to the engine and front light wiring, we'll cover the process to install the Megafuse assembly included with the Classic Update Kit. The Megafuses act as circuit protection for the alternator along with the fuse panel and interior wiring. The Megafuses are designed to be mounted in the engine compartment with the power feed cable being as close to the battery source as possible. In this example, we will be using the battery stud on the starter as this source. The fuse bases lock together, and the bus bar jumper will provide power to both sides of the Megafuse assembly. The positive battery cable is connected to the starter along with the cable from the bus bar side of the Megafuse assembly, and when the kit installation is complete, this shared connection will be what supplies power to the Megafuses and fuse panel. For now, the battery should remain disconnected during the kit installation. The positive battery cable is connected to the starter along with a cable from the bus bar side of the Megafuse assembly. And when the kit installation is complete, this shared connection will be what supplies power to the Megafuses and fuse panel. Use a length of the provided 6 gauge cable to connect the bus bar side of the Megafuse assembly to the battery stud on the starter solenoid. This creates a junction for the Megafuses to be powered by the battery cable feeding the starter. Route another length of the 6 gauge cable from one of the Megafuse studs opposite of the bus bar to the charge output stud on the alternator. The final connection to the Megafuse assembly for the fuse panel feed will be completed during the engine harness installation. Next, slide the engine and front light bulkhead connectors together and install them by loosely threading the bolt into the bulkhead connector under the hood. This will not be the final installation, so do not tighten the connection yet. It's now time to begin routing the engine harness wires. The purple starter wire will attach to the solenoid stud labeled S on a factory starter. Each kit will vary slightly for the remaining connections, but for the Camaro, the engine harness also contains the wiper wiring. These wires may need to be customized based on the configuration of your wiper system. For vehicles with a washer pump, a jumper is required to make the wipers work at the same time as the pump. Kits will include specialized instructions for various wiper options if they apply. Feeds are also supplied for coolant temperature and oil pressure gauges, and the ignition coil power feed and tachometer signal wires. The brown alternator ignition wire is provided for use with an internally regulated General Motors SI series alternator. If you are using a one wire alternator, this brown wire is not required and can be removed from the bulkhead. American Auto Wire Classic Update Kits do not support the use of any externally regulated alternators. All kits support factory heat, and the blower motor power wire is generally the final connection in the engine harness. If your vehicle has factory air conditioning, an original air conditioning harness is required. In some cases, Classic Update specific harnesses may also be available to help simplify the installation. Please contact our sales team for guidance with these harnesses for your application. We also have a video covering the use of factory air conditioning with a classic update that can be seen here. Installations with aftermarket air conditioning will use the engine bay wiring supplied by the manufacturer of the AC system, and this wire can be removed from the bulkhead. Vehicles with factory heat and no air conditioning can connect the orange blower power feed wire, and installation is complete. The final connection will be the red battery power wire for the fuse panel we mentioned earlier in the video. This fuse panel feed will connect to the remaining fuse on the Megafuse assembly. With the engine harness in place, the front light wiring can now be routed. 
In addition to the headlights, parking lights, and side markers, the front light wiring also contains wires for the horn and brake pressure warning light. This particular kit also contains an additional orange switched ignition wire. This was not present in the factory front light harness, but was added with the thought many users would require an additional ignition feed for an electric fan relay. This wire should not be used to power a fan directly, as doing so can cause damage to the harness. If you do not need to use this wire, it can be removed from the bulkhead. To complete this portion of the installation, remove the bulkhead connectors and apply a thin coating of dielectric grease to the terminals. Slowly plug the connector all the way into the bulkhead, making sure not to bend any of the terminals as they seat into the dash side of the connection. Use a quarter inch ratchet or nut driver to tighten the bolt on the connector. Be sure not to over tighten this bolt. A small amount of silicone sealant can then be applied to the wire entry side of the connectors to help keep the connection free of dirt and moisture. Our next video in this series will finish up the console wiring in the vehicle interior as well as work through the rear body harness installation. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can also stay up to date with American Auto Wire by checking us out on Facebook, Car Buff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.